Do you want to power your Raspberry Pi but only have draw volts adapter? You do? No problem. Hi guys, how are you? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 5 volts DC off a uh, 12 volts DC power source using a a uh, buck converter, step down converter. So, to ultimately, it's gonna power a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 right here. Uh, so, let's get started. First off, uh, you need a, a power source. In this case, I'm using AC adapter that's 12 volts and uh, rated at 5 amps. To convert that voltage to 5 volts, I'm gonna use the, the buck converter. And it's based off a uh, um, chip from Texas Instrument. I forgot the exact uh, number. But this one in, in particular it has a variable output uh, voltage that you can set off this potentiometer right here. We also need a, a multi tester of some kind. So I got one of these to test the voltage. So you also need. Um, screwdriver to adjust the potentiometer off of that um, the buck converter uh, you also need the micro USB cable also uh, since I am using an adapter I bought this uh, a barrel jack the breakout barrel jack so you don't have to mess around cutting the uh, stripping the cable off this adapter. We can just plug it into the barrel jack and then we can separate the positive leads and the negative lead. Um, also need a pair of um, alligator clips. We're going to use to uh, it's more convenient to use. So without further ado, let's start this Okay, so now we get things set up. We have the, the power source, the AC adapter plugged into a, this power strip right here. It's not on yet. And from the power strip, it goes down here. And then we have this breakout cable. It's, um, we have the positive and uh, negative leads uh, through these wires. And in an alligator clip, uh, bring the, the 12 volts power towards um, the inputs, the output side is hooked up to this alligator clip and goes to there and then catches the, the positive prongs and the negative common of the uh, multi-tester right here. So first off we're gonna set this multi-tester right here, this particular one has a setting so we're gonna go to uh, 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 volts DC and then we're gonna go to the range of let's say we, we want 5 volts but it's not gonna show 5 volts but since the buck converter is uh, set up as a 1 to 1 ratio so I think uh, whatever the input voltage is should be the same all, almost the same as the output so if I put it and uh, 10 volts uh, scale or range uh, it's going to show that the dial right here is going to go way over here to uh, beyond its its range. So let's test that see if that happens. So we're going to turn on the uh, power strip and then it's going to power the circuit. There it goes. And then as you can see, the dial all, all the way, uh, it's outside of its range because it's set at 10 volts. And then like I said, it's a one to one ratio from the input to the output so uh, we want 5 volts and then first off before we do that let's let's go ch uh, change the range to uh, 50 volts so 50 volts as you can see that dial moved and so now this whole range right here it's 0 to 50 volts so if you subdivide uh, 50 volts it's going to be each uh, this line right here we need, it's going to be 5 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10 times 5 volts is 50 volts, so 50 volt range. So that's gonna be 5 volts, and the next one's 10 volts. And it's a little bit over right here in this side right here. So that's telling us it's around uh, 12 volts ish. Um, I don't have a digital multimeter, so I can't really read that accurately, but it, it seems it seems to be around 12 volts. So we're gonna adjust that uh, potentiometer. Now this this turn is to uh, uh, 10 volt range. Now the dial is gonna go um, back to infinity or beyond this scale, and then we're we're gonna try and turn that potentiometer counterclockwise. So uh, we're gonna try to lower that output voltage to 5 volts. So if this this is 10 volts range, that's gonna it's it's also saying that half that will be five volts right this is a 10 volt range so we're going to try to adjust the potentiometer turn it counterclockwise and see this move this dial move until it reaches that halfway point right there so let's do that right now okay also you need this i have a tiny screwdriver a flathead and we're going to try to turn that um, potentiometer we're doing right now so tiny so here let's just go turn it just like this okay hopefully the dial comes down oh come on come on all right here it goes it's coming down now so i'm gonna go slow to reach that middle midpoint and right about there okay hopefully this multi-tester is fairly accurate so we we'll get around 5 volts okay it looks good it, it seems to be right there in the center okay so now um, I'm gonna pause the video and then hook up that micro USB to the alligator, alligator clips on the output side and then we're gonna to see if it charges the cell phone and, or and the, in my case, I have a uh, power bank. Uh, see if it charges, and then also an old cell phone to get to use to, to, to test the um, if it works. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So we I got the micro USB cable hooked up to the output side of the buck converter to the alligator clips. Uh, be make sure you got the right polarity. The micro USB cable when you strip that. Uh, it has four wires. It has the, I think this one has the green and the white. Those are the data wires. They carry the the signals off of your device and talk to the the other device either a machine or whatever. So you only want to, um, your only concern here is the the black and red uh, wires inside that cable. That's that's the the power. So that's hooked up, and then I'm gonna turn the circuit on. So now it's on, and then let's try. Uh, let's um, let's start with the power bank. See if it's uh, gonna take five volts and if if it charges. So here we go. So that's your micro USB side. We're gonna plug it in. Plug it into the power bank. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there, there it is. So I guess it works. Um, it 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 is working. Seems to me. So you got, you got lights blinking right here, uh, which shows it's saying it's charging. So it's charging. So it works with this one. Let's try the, the cell phone. Right, I'm gonna plug it out. I put the take the old cell phone, this busted cell phone, but it still still kind of works. Yeah, so I'll plug it in. There. Alright, let's plug it out. See, it's, you know, the battery's dead. Almost dead. Like, barely alive. See, it's red, pinkish, right there. So, I'm gonna plug it in. Alright. Same cable, right? Now, we'll see if it works. Okay, now, see, the uh, battery icon has the lightning symbol that signifies it's, it's charged it's off. <laughs> Sorry about that. So that better icon now has the uh, symbol, the lightning symbol, 
it uh, shows you it's charging so so I guess it works this, this video is part of the series this is going to be about the Wi-Fi window machine that I'm planning to build and this is just to power that ras the Raspberry Pi that's going to make that device run that's the brains of that device um, so people might ask why don't you buy a 5 volts adapter well I also need 12 volts to uh, power like the fan the exhaust fan and um, also the the coin slot for that window machine and those things they need 12 volts so that's it guys for this video I hope uh, you find the video informative and uh, if you do just please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching